important if somebody is buying a new home yes. to do a tarry on warranty inspection. Most people are not aware of this because you can't always, you can't always see the pollutants in the air, uh, are allergic and they're having all these strange things happening that nobody can tell them what they are. First thing is to change your filter of the furnace every three months. We are sitting with Panos from Inspection Services Group. Welcome Panos to our podcast. Straight to the topic, what are the common mistakes home buyers are making these days, maybe buying their first home or their first investment? Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure and privilege to be here. I think the number one mistake uh, buyers make is they think that they don't need a professional to go through the house and give them an idea of the condition of the property. That is the most common mistake, especially now with bidding wars happening in most of the GTA in Toronto. You always should have a professional take a look at the house, whether it's before, during or after, the transaction, it's always a good idea. So it's a good idea you are buying, uh, even the average price in GTA market is 1.1 million. You are investing that much money, that's hard earned money. And end of the day, you're compromising maybe 400, 500 bucks just to shortcut your life. You always should do your homework and hire a professional, uh, somebody from a recognized company. Uh, they're gonna do a good job for you because they know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, with the cost of repairs these days, the plumbers, electricians, and all the other trades, uh, four or $500 is really a drop in the bucket. Definitely, so it's good to have a professional and it's not that much expensive compared to all the consequences of it. You lose your peace of mind and obviously you pay so much for the repairs. So what are the things that, let's say um, I being a first time home buyer, I'm going into the home for the first time. What are the things that I should focus uh, that can be like um, a huge uh, investment for me in the future? So I'm gonna start with what, as a first time home buyer, you shouldn't be focusing on, and that's the shiny kitchen counters <laughs> <laughs> and the paint on the walls. Okay. okay. Those are great, they're amazing, but the house is much more than shine Definitely. and glitter. So the, your heating equipment is extremely important, mm -hmm. just because you're not heated in this country. Uh, electrical installations, extremely important because it has to do with safety. Yes. And then the other major cost items would be your roof, uh, would be your attic, if there's mold or anything else like that. Uh, if it's an older home, there could be structural issues which always cost a lot of money so those are the main areas that somebody should be looking at uh, plumbing and uh, you know minor cracks and, and stuff like that those are nothing those are easy to repair they're cosmetic most of the times definitely and then what is the average lifetime of a home let's say somebody who's maintaining the home well structurally is intact so I have seen properties more than 100 years 150 years people living in that and most of the time people ask us we don't want to buy a property which is more than 30 year old Mm -hmm. So based on your analysis, like... Uh, uh, so I'm going to give you my personal opinion. This yes. is not a professional, yeah, my personal not, opinion. Okay. I've inspected houses from the lay, from the early 1800s. Okay. Okay, those houses are built well, but well. they are built with a different mindset. They have nothing to do with Ontario building code and, and stuff like that. Yes. They were built with knowledge, expertise, passed from generation to generation. Those houses are still standing, and they will be standing for the next 100 years. Okay. I can't say the same with new houses. <laughs> We see a lot of uh, shortcuts in new construction. We see, yes, we see a lot of uh, bad workmanship. We see a lot of uh, low quality work. And that's because it is allowed by the entire building code, unfortunately. Those are minimums and builders are gonna go with minimums. Definitely, so this means anything uh, older than 25 year old. So you're looking into properties from uh, uh, 1980s to 2000. Those are well built, structurally they're mm -hmm. intact. And then considering the Ontario code, there are minimum standards. As minimum standards. That's why it's so important if somebody is buying a new home yes. to do a tarry on warranty inspection. Most people are not aware of this. Obviously, the builder doesn't want to tell them because they don't want a third party coming and seeing all the deficiencies and all the bad workmanship. Mm -hmm. But it's crucial to have a third party independent company to do a tarry on warranty inspection, whether it's PDI, 30 day or one year, to discover all these things. I'm gonna tell you a number which is gonna be surprise you. On average, new construction homes, we, can't, we find about 50 deficiencies. Wow. Small or big, doesn't matter. So this this means even you're buying a resale home, obviously inspectors are involved, professions are involved, but 
as as a end user i shouldn't take a uh, risk where i should involve professionals in a pre construction of the brand new homes mm -hmm. also so you come in like what time you come there's a pda happening the closing happened you come before closing or you come after closing so we always recommend a little bit after closing what we call the 30 day tarry on warranty period yes. the reason for that is that you already have the keys you've already lived in the house you've mm -hmm. interacted with the house you've used the plumbing a lot of issues come after interaction okay. so that's why the 30 day warranty inspection is there set by Tarion warranty corporation that's extremely important if there's anything that was forgotten we catch it on time we've been in houses that are nine ten years old and we see issues that we are not finished houses were not finished from 19 years ago nobody caught them nobody noticed them so mm -hmm. So definitely, so basically between the 30 day in Ontario specifically, you have 30 day inspection happening mm -hmm. uh, from the uh, Tarion that you have to fill the forms mm -hmm. and to the builder. So at that time you can involve the professionals mm -hmm. which can guide you and then you give them a report, they send it to the builder or they send it to the Tarion, it's get, getting fixed. Both of those things can happen at the yes. same time. We do provide help with the, the forms to, for those people who need it. Our process and our reports are uh, based on the Tarion construction performance guidelines. We don't go in and do whatever we want. We are basing our process and our reports on the guidelines. So our reports will outline the specific paragraph in the Tarion guidelines okay. that has to do with that deficiency. So the builder can't say, you know what, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, it's in the Tarion construction performance guidelines. It's not what I'm saying. Okay, so nobody can object it exactly. as, as, as per the guidelines. So even the money, that's minor money, I think that's well and messy for a property where like the prices are crazy here even mm -hmm. I have seen the properties with 2 million 3 million they have the deficiencies too on the pre-construction so this is about the pre-construction we talked about the resale anything else let's say there, there are, are do you do any uh, insulation test or air quality test like or something related to that so our company has diversified we have a whole department that has okay. to do with indoor air quality okay. and uh, pollutants in, in the home so we do asbestos test mold, mold tests we do actually have a crew that does abatement and remediations for mold. Uh, we do air quality tests in many different areas inside the home, not, not exterior, but inside the home, right? So we do have a five or six tests available for uh, home buyers and um, homeowners. So we want to ensure that our clients have clean air. Most of the times they don't know about it because you can't always, you can't always see the pollutants in the air. Yes. So it's, it's important for families that have a tendency to asthma, upper respiratory diseases, uh, are allergic and they're having all these strange things happening that nobody can tell them what they are. Uh, air quality tests can actually help find what the cause uh, is. Definitely. That's a good to know uh, the air quality because that's what we breathe in mm -hmm. goes inside. And any recommendation, somebody who don't want to do an air quality test even, how they can take care well uh, of their HVAC system, is there any guidelines for that to maintain it regularly? We, we have guidance on every aspect of the home when it has to do with air, air quality. Yes. We are but we are all uh, indoor air quality consultants. We're certified for that. Yes. So even if I don't do tests because somebody doesn't want to pay for them, yes. I can actually give you guidance on how to keep your, your the air in your house clean. Okay. And it's not really difficult. Yes. It's very easy. Can you share with our audience? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> the, the, the first thing is to change your filter of the furnace every three months. Three months? To Basic. The filter. Okay. Basic. Yeah, that's good. Right. Okay. Uh, clean your duct system every three to four years, depending, of course, on family and living conditions. Okay. So you hired that crew to clear the duct, uh, the duct work. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, Keep your, your fans, like the ventilation fans, keep them clean. That's what brings stale air out and brings humidity out. We see in many homes we go in and you see all the, the, the stains on the ventilation fans in the bathroom. Oh, that means that the okay. fan is not doing its job properly. That's cool. uh, the ventilators are there for a reason. Uh, I was in a house just the other day and the homeowner said, when I put my, my washer on, this whole room is sweating. And I basically looked up, I said, do you see that thing there? <laughs> That's blocked. a fan. It's a You're supposed to use it. That's mm. why it's there. Mm. And she said, oh my God, I didn't even know. <laughs> That's, those are basic things. I think we miss those basics. So filtration system, we talked about duct cleaning and the fan mm -hmm. ventilation system. Anything else that we need to care, like uh, the insulation level does, that doesn't matter here. Like um, Insulation oh. level matters. Uh, insulation will always settle, will always go down. So the R value of the insulation will yes. always decrease over time. Mm -hmm. So updates are always good to do. That would be maybe 10, 15 year mark of a new home. Mm -hmm. That's why in every home that we go in that's over 15, 20 years old, we are going 
going to recommend an updating of the insulation. That also saves money. The more money in our pocket, the better. Okay. That's my personal opinion again. <laughs> Definitely. So panels, I believe we can talk whole day on oh, yeah. the home inspection, starting from the basement till the top, till the attic. But for the time sake, thanks guys for watching another podcast and panels will be speaking on our event. We have uh, a lot of many people coming in. So it's better to attend those events, network with the people mm -hmm. and learn from each other. Any last thoughts for the audience? Uh, on our website, it's inspectionservicesgroup.com. We have a lot of valuable information yes. that's free, it's available. We have seasonal maintenance uh, schedules. We have a lot of things about air quality and how to keep the air clean. So that's all free and available to our clients. Love that, right? So a lot of uh, free goodies for you. Just follow panels for more information. Thank you again. Thank you, panels. Thank you.